Hey guys, welcome to Pellets of Pits. Hey, today is all about two different versions of sausage balls. We did a crack style, we did a Rotel and cheese style. If you guys wanna see how we did this, make it smoky, fluffy, and good, here we go. One pack of softened cream cheese, one cup of that grated cheddar, one cup of Rotel with the diced green chilies, and we're gonna drain that juice. One cup of whole milk mozzarella, two cups Bisquick, one pack of sausage. We chose the hot kind, but you can use any kind you want to. After all your ingredients in the bowl, we're just gonna mix them all together, combine it. That softened cream cheese, the tomatoes, different types of cheeses. Obviously, if you wanna add different types of cheeses, you can. Pepper jack, habanero cheese, something like that, and make a little spicy. Remember, we got that hot sausage in there, so balance it whichever way you want to. Just get all that Bisquick incorporated. That looks good to me. And from here, we're just gonna portion it out. I got a little fancy dancy cookie scoop. Alrighty, these jokers are done. Uh, we're gonna let these sit in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes while these are resting in the refrigerator. We're gonna get that bacon out, chop it up, and get the other batch ready. Alrighty, bacon on the smoker is done. If you've never done bacon on the smoker, I highly suggest it. It is fantastic. Super crispy, just the way we like it. Uh, got about a half a pound of bacon. Just eyeballing it here. Obviously, you got a little snack of bacon on the side. Just give that a nice chop. That looks good. Maybe one more like this. All righty, kind of the same routine. So we got the chopped bacon. You guys know with the cracked chicken and all that stuff, so we're going the cracked theme. We got that ranch seasoning packet. Eight ounces of softened cream cheese. One cup of that grated cheddar. Obviously you can mix up other cheeses. And the sausage, we're going with the mild. I actually thought about throwing jalapenos in there because I thought that would have been good but my wife said no. So you guys add your jalapenos if you want to. Happy wife, sad life. Should we add the mozzarella cheese? I think you can add some jalapenos. Well, now you tell me. Two cups of Bisquick. Give or take, I don't think it's really gonna matter. And as always, if you guys are interested, some of these recipes will be on pelletsandpits.com. Should we add jalapenos? Yes. Last chance. Yes. I'm eyeballing. I'm just eyeballing. Maybe a quarter cup. Add as many as you like. I just think it sounded good. I don't know why. Maybe that vinegar in there. Looks good to me. Keep them chunky. <sighs> Some things, it's just the small things in life that make you happy. All right, let's mix them up and let's get the balls on a tray just like we did the uh, Rotel. And just like that, in the refrigerator they go, and then we're gonna start cooking the first batch we made. All right, we've got our Weber still rocking at 400 degrees. That's the temperature we cook the bacon at. And of course, we're rocking the smoking pecan pellets. On the smoker they go for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna rotate the pan about halfway through. All right, you're right at the halfway mark. I'm just gonna rotate the pan just in case. Oh, man down. So when you say halfway mark, it's been about? 10 minutes. Okay. Alrighty, 20 minutes later, hopefully they should look something like this. Ooh, smell good. And here are the crack ones. Bacon, jalapeno cheddar, and ranch dressing. Ooh, I'm excited about these. 10 minutes in. Not as pretty, but I got I got faith. I got faith.
About to pull those last sausage balls, and here are our sauces. Traditional ranch, I've added a little jalapeno juice in there, uh, maybe just a little bit more than normal. And then over here, very simply about a three to one ratio. So one, two, just eyeballing it, not a big deal. And just a little bit of ketchup. So one part ketchup right there. Give that a mix. And that is gonna be the sauce for the Rotel. And just like that. Crack style sausage balls. We gotta let them cool. All right, guys, there you go. Really and truly, we wanted to start the video with just doing one, and the more we got to think about it with seven simple ingredients, that includes the parsley. We were like, golly, it's gonna be like a two minute video. And I know some of you guys are going, yeah, finally. No. So we did the crack style because I've been, I had it on the back of my mind. Game day's here. We've already opened football season. A great way to use a pellet smoker, a great way to add a little smoke flavor. A great way to have the friends around and try something different. I personally did not think I would like the Rotel. I am not a Rotel and cheese kind of guy, especially when it comes to dips. I stay away from that. I like other things. The salsa ball is on point. I didn't think I was going to like it. My wife challenged me. I'm glad she did. Going back to that, the crack style. We literally came up with it at the last second. That's not a lie. Um... Like, what else could we do with a sausage ball? We actually have a loaded sausage ball already. I love them. Oh, and with our homemade pimento cheese. With a homemade pimento cheese. And those are good. These are just as good. The crack is on point. I'm telling you what the kicker is, is this dang jalapeno uh, buttermilk dressing. Oh, that's just good. And these little hotel things, they're not bad. See the little burnt crispy cheeses on the outside? That's what I love about it. They're really good. I think I actually might like those better than the crack version. Oh, way. I think I do. Really? They're both really good. They're different. Somehow, you know... You, you mentioned earlier. Sometimes you get a sausage ball and it's like all ball, no sausage, you know? All sausage, huh? <laughs> it's like a lot of breading. These don't seem like that. These seem like a lot of sausage and a lot of cheese. Just how you like it. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of sausage. And this right here, that if that's your favorite, this is my favorite. Mm. Oh, you know. Mm. They do have a little bit of a kick. They're good. And this was the mild. Yours was a spicy. Oh, Mine was mild. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I used that we used hot sausage in the Rotel one. Mm. Now we gotta do a hot sausage jalapeno. Mmm. We're good. You guys like that little clap of excitement? All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Two fantastic choices. Mm. Make both of them. Might as well. Cause they are going to be gone. They're super easy too. I bet I could make this. I bet you can't turn on a smoker. Well, that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm.